Hello everyone, Cheek here with another Transformers review, and today I will be reviewing Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Galvatron. And this is the Japanese style toy, or at least um, the toy version of well, toy coloration. And as you can see, you know, standard uh, spray paint design, Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy, of course Galvatron. Uh, not much really for the packaging. Um, Amazon likes to ship these like this, and these boxes actually come in surprisingly well, considering that um, I got this while on deployment, and the Navy is notorious for uh, having packages get absolutely destroyed. Anyway, that's about it for the packaging. And here we have him. Right out of the packaging, he comes with a <clears throat> green matrix of leadership, which I don't know if the uh, toy came with anything like that way back when, but they decided to go with like a metallic green, mint green color, which I think is uh, in an interesting choice. The chain, of course, is one molded piece. And, of course, he also comes with his giant, I think it might still be called Fusion Cannon, but um, the Cannon version of his uh, Fusion Cannon. Anyway, um, I was going to go ahead and uh, get, uh, mess around with him a bit first, but after realize, noticing something, I was like, this guy looks a little plain, um, because it turns out... He has a sticker sheet! Um, yeah, um, uh, when I was looking at the pictures, I, he definitely looked stickered, but I assumed that those were painted on. And, of course, um, there are pros and cons to uh, the stickers. Stickers will eventually peel off, but there is the nostalgia of being able to put on stickers. Grand, I never really had the original figures way back when in G1. But I've always loved putting on stickers on toys and stuff. So this is actually quite nice. But having them painted on would mean that they would last for much longer. I think they did a little bit of that with Titans Returns. But, <clears throat> of course, um, pe different people have different preferences. So this might be for you. This might not be for you. And here he is in all of his stickered glory. He is much shinier with all these stickers since they're all like foil and as you can see you can see it reflecting even on his uh, crown which looks really cool um, but there is a problem with the stickers on the crown and you'll definitely see it in transformation is that it doesn't sit on there the best and then it also folds over on top so when it transforms when he transforms into cannon mode that rubs up against uh, the compartment that his head goes into but i did order just not too long ago ordered a uh, set of markers uh, that was advertised on facebook that's supposed to be mirror chrome finish and if they work as well as they say they do i'll probably take those stickers off and use the chrome markers in their place anyway let's get a nice look at that noggin his head is done in a dark gray similar to G2 Megatron same with the somewhat red orangish eyes gray helmet purple crown which with the uh, stickers is supposed to be silver and that's pretty much it for his head which from the back looks more bullet shaped then purple right here for around his head kind of supposed to be uh, the make it look like it's the base of the cannon barrel uh, for his cannon mode obviously uh, it is on a ball joint and it kind of feels almost ratchety almost it can of course do a full 360 obviously can look up about that far down about that far not very much and just a little bit of wiggly waggly uh, his shoulder pads which are not really on his shoulders they do have some rotation for robot mode they're supposed to be straightened up with there but of course if you want to have them like that to look more like shoulder pads you can or if you want to do something really weird and have them like completely vertical all up to you your figure do with it as you wish and then his chest you can see the red stickers right here of course stickers here 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 
here, 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 although there's kind of redundant because there's a Decepticon emblem already underneath there. Here, instead of silver paint, it's now chrome looking. Same, might do that with the marker as well. Stickers here, 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 same on the other side, here, Decepticon emblem, here, and uh, and then of course on under his arm right here, which is more for cannon mode. At least that's where it showed on the instructions. And then some right here, which is, like I said, also for the other ones, more for cannon mode. And that's pretty much it for the stickers. They did include some other stickers on here, like the Transformers, or just Transformers of the Decepticon emblem, and Unicron's disembodied head. Obviously, you're not going to put any of those on Galvatron. You could if you want to, but they're not really any point. For 12, 12 is what is on his crown. I'm assuming that these are supposed to go with it in some way, shape, or form. But I have looked looked on for other YouTube channels trying to figure it out. Haven't been able to find an answer yet. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Anyway, I guess you might have some extra stickers to stick wherever you like. Now, for the rest of articulation, his shoulders go up about, oh, go up that far. Do a full 360. Um, of course, you want to make sure that you get it back to the right position, or else it'll just look kind of weird with that um, metal part in the front. Biceps are on a swivel. Can pretty much get a full 360 without the treads in the way. You get over 90 degrees bent at the elbow, but that is also primarily for transformation, but it does give you some good articulation in that regard. The wrists are on, the hands are on a mushroom peg, and then they can also bend in, but that's also for transformation. He does have side flaps that can move up to accommodate um, him doing splits, which he can do quite nicely. Um, legs can go that far forward, back that far before his backpack gets in the way. And he does have thigh rotation. and about 90 degree bend at the knee and then he does have ankle tiltage and ankle heel spur and that's about it for articulation all right there's one accessory or set of his accessories i have yet to go over which were included which are kind of pointless for him i think Inle or for anyone in general, unless you have the Haslab Unicron, which is his handguns, which look mighty familiar if you've seen the G1 movie. Each handgun is made to look like the Revenge, the ship that was given to uh, Galvatron by Unicron, although they are done in black plastic rather than purple, like they were in the, or like it was in the movie. It was just one ship. Obviously slightly different, it's not rounded as much on the top, so that these two can combine to make Galvatron's handgun, which then you can of course plug into his hand, and then he can go pew pew, bang bang with, uh, I don't know, a weird ship gun, rather than just using the gun that he already comes uh, built with, I don't know, what Unicron gave him when you initially reformatted him. Let's go ahead and get on to transformation. Okay, so first thing we want to do is remove his gun, set off to the side. And if you want to go ahead and do it right now, take that off. This will go on him later. And this is just the barrel for the cannon. Okay, so you want to flip his hands in like so. Rotate his arms up, tab them into place. This tab goes into that slot right there on the shoulder. Tab into place, pull these down, rotate on the hinge and just, just kind of tab it in there like this. It'll be at an angle because that's the way the tread's gonna be in his alt mode, cannon mode. Tab into place, kind of hold like this. Then just wanna pull off to the side like that. Pull out to the side like that, and as you can see, this is the front of the cannon, and that is the faux front of the cannon. So you want to uh, pull this cover back, 
rotate up and this is the part where the sticker rubs up against is right in there which is very frustrating because I really hate it when stickers come off as you can see it's already rubbing up like that so I might just have to trim down that sticker and not have it right uh, up above like it's supposed to be just to make it to where it's less likely to pull the whole thing off but those markers work well then it's kind of pointless because I'll just use this instead anyway yeah you close that back up press that up in there and then you want to uh, rotate this down, uh, da, da, da. get this up and over, get this forward like that, tab into place, get all this nice and well together. Then um, for his legs, you want to flip these heel spurs in, you want to rotate this out, this tapples out of that slot. You want to rotate it around and tab this this slot into this uh, this slot into this tab. Anyway, you want to put them together like that. And then same for the other side. Pull it out, rotate around. Then you rotate his legs at the thigh. Clip them together. And yes, um, if any of you following along have actually own this figure and have the instructions yes i am doing this a little bit out of order but yeah if it works it works and then just press up into here although i will admit um sometimes it is kind of tricky to get these to uh, clip together properly but once you get them clipped then you can get them to tab in right here and then you pretty much got the back end of the can done. Not quite done, but pretty much there. Then you want to have these panels. His, um, well, the side of his waist, his waist coat thingy, my bobs, whatever they're called. Uh, it's some, it's a type of armor anyway. I can never remember the name of things like that, which is kind of funny considering that a lot of figures have them. Anyway, uh, if you didn't catch it, when you're putting this in here, you want to uh, get this tab, uh, slot, right, why do I mix those up? This tab right here into this slot right there. Just tab it into place, and then you want to tab this into this slot right there. Like so. And then, <clears throat> then you just, straighten these out kind of get them to where these are flat so it does look pretty splayed out but that's kind of how it's supposed to be and then back here just pull down his whole legs I guess inside of his legs and you don't want to use ankle tiltage and then you have the back support for the cannon mode and of course you might want to fiddle with the treads just a little bit to get them to uh sit quite right like so and then this right here goes back here like so and then of course the final step putting this right there to give the cannon its signature look because what is a cannon without a barrel i don't know i guess a cannon but it probably just won't be able to go as far who knows but this is his cannon mode, and it has treads, and it should roll around, but the wheels don't roll around the best, but it rolls as cannons with treads should roll. Hooray for cannons that roll. <laughs> yep, um, definitely don't want to be around if you're Starscream, because it will ruin your coronation for sure. Now, like I was saying, you can put this on him in cannon mode. You just uh, tab this in right there, like so. And that holds it in place. I guess that's to keep the chain from just falling down. Because also in the movie, he did transform into cannon mode. And he had the matrix on the chain still around his neck. Because remember, that's where his head is supposed to come out. So it makes sense that when he transforms into cannon mode, that... It would be right there. Now, of course, with 
any good new figure, they want to be able to incorporate most, if not all, the accessories in the alternate mode. You can attach the Spaceship Revenge cannons onto him by using this slot right here, which tabs in right there. And it does sometimes want to fight you, but this time it actually went on quite well. Tab that on, and then tab that on right there. And there we go. Have a cannon with extra armaments, a cannon with cannons. So, so much cannon going on here. Um, now, one thing that's kind of silly is, or kind of funny, and I guess a logical uh, conclusion and makes a lot of sense is that we went from Megatron, who's a handgun, to Galvatron, who is a cannon with treads, and then to a tank, which is pretty much a cannon with treads. So instead of being like an artillery cannon with treads, they decide, like, okay, let's just make him a tank. That makes more sense because at least he's more mobile, I guess. I, I, I think. It's kind of an interesting transition phase. Like he, Galvatron is like the weird um, missing link, if you will. I guess I I, it, I just think that's a kind of funny way to think about it. Now, any of you that had the original figure or even interested and looked back at it uh, will know that he did have a third mode. He was like a triple changer, and uh, it was. A little handgun mode, although obviously more like an alien space gun. Looked really goofy, but it is what it is. It was um, a kid's toy, electronics and everything. Very obnoxious from the sounds of it. But this guy, he doesn't really have that. Although people have tried to make a modification to be able to do so. So what I've come up with... I'm sure anyone could relatively quickly come up with it as well. Just rotate at the right here. Come on. Tap back into place. You why'd you come untapped? Okay. Anyway, rotate around, flip up, because that's the closest you can get uh to his original one. You would well there's a couple more steps, but just rotate around, flip up. And of course you just as I was accidentally did earlier, or inadvertently did, let's rip rotate this down. The only downside is if they really, really wanted to make this a uh, have a handgun mode, they would have done something to have the front of the feet flip down or something. Obviously, you can tell that they were probably trying to prevent you from making the handgun mode. But, of course, fans will find a way. And this is the closest you can get. So, yay, you have a handgun now. And one thing that I did notice, oddly, because I thought it seemed like they kind of wanted you to make it into a gun mode. Because if you look at his ankle heel spurs, when they put together like that, it looks almost like a trigger. Because the original toy did have a trigger. So if and when you press, of course, lights and sounds. So if you hold it like this, it's almost like a handgun. And then you go pew pew bang bang all day long. I guess by maybe Devastator, Menace, or Bruticus, any of the big Decepticon combiners, unless he does a weird shrinky dinky thing where he just turns into a smaller handgun and then they're holding a mutant cannon in their hands and shooting their leader shooting with their leader anyway that's about it for transformers generation selects galvatron and if you like this review and you'd like to see more please click that like and subscribe button to see more and until next time have a good one, everyone.